I'm banking for more than 42 years. And I remember from my first annual salary in 1983, I bought a Commodore C64 computer. Maybe some of you have seen them in the museum. <laughs> and um, this uh, 64 stays for 64K. When I shaved this morning with my electric shaver uh, from Xiaomi, I found out this has 128K already. So, but in 1983, I felt very cool and very digitalized. Uh, in 1999, I was working in the head office training department. I did training material, and I was the first user of a Macintosh Cube computer. This had already a mouse, and it, when I switched it on in the morning, it made this dong. And I felt super hip, and I arrived on digitalization. But of course, we are far away from that. Uh, nowadays, my watch has a higher performance than this Macintosh computer 30 years ago. But back to your question. Um, digitalization is never over, never, because the world is developing. So, uh, but to come to reality in our bank in NLB, where we are and where we want to be in the next step in the digitalization, uh, we want to replace the stamp. We want to arrive in the post stamp, post paper, and maybe post-cash world, and still we are a little bit far away from this. Um, from our region, when we look out of the box, and sometimes we are looking out of the box, uh, we find already pretty good examples of digitalization in Brazil, in the Baltics, and if we come closer, even in Poland. And we have to recognize that especially banks there are 10 years ahead of us, as a matter of fact. I believe. Why is this? In this country, the overall approach and acceptance of digitalization is much higher. So our region is quite conservative, um, and conservative is not bad. Um, but our task is also to convince, to train our clients for the trust to use the technology, but first of all, to trust the technology. This, I think, is a very important step which we have to do to go further with the digitalization in our region. Uh, an obstacle, a big hurdle is that our regulation and legislation is still not world class. So we need a lot of improvements there. We can even currently not implement a digital signature. Full onboarding and even electronic distribution of account statement is still not standard. So these are the topics and challenges which we are facing. Ministries and public administration do not share, if they even have, a digital database. This is holding us back. Uh, for example, in consumer lending, it is very common in Montenegro and I guess also in neighboring countries to use a promissory note to tie the private person to his private loan which I haven't seen in any other regions of the world. But we have to buy this form for the promissory note as a physical, as a paper, from the central bank and to sell it to the client over the counter. So end-to-end uh, -end digital selling of a loan product is very much limited. In, in Europe, it is possible to open a bank account in five minutes online on a smartphone. In Montenegro, in my bank, and I guess my colleagues might confirm this, I still need five to eight paper documents to be signed. So there is a, there is a long way to catch up. We are working on this. Um, digitalization is by far not over, not in the region. It has to continue, but also worldwide.